This is the holy trinity of mild drug abuse. On the left you have the stoner, a philosopher, a free thinker if you will. He's no genius but, hey, he's up there. To the right you have the mild alcoholic. He hasn't completely fell off the wagon but you probably would want to take his car keys. When these two people merge together they create what is called as the cross-faded god. This man knows the secrets to the universe. Our ancestors referred to him as the seer of all. For thee who gets cross-faded shall cross into the next into <laughs> What the fuck happened to that guy? He hit the gravity bong and then he took eight shots of Casamigos. Oh nah, rip bro. <laughs> The act of taking weed and mixing it with alcohol on paper sounds like a great idea, but don't be fooled. This can put you down a fucking dark path. I've only been crossfaded a handful of times, but surprisingly, I remember a decent amount of it. So today, I'm proud to present to you Crossfaded, a guide to controlled retardation. You may be asking, Oh, Split, I already smoke a lot of weed. I don't think alcohol would make it too different. Wrong. Be prepared to forget your own fucking name, Buckaroo, because we're about to get into the three levels of being crossfaded. Level 1. Basic. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. So level 1 is just the base level. You're either high or you're drunk. It doesn't matter how drunk, it doesn't matter how high, you can always make it more. But hey, I'm pretty sure you guys are very familiar with level 1, so let's get on to level 2. Level 2. Intermediate. This is when you start mixing the substances, so maybe you were high previously, maybe you were drunk previously, and somewhere along the lines you were like, you know what, I'm gonna try out this fucking crossfaded thing. So you know, you take a hit off a joiner, you take a shot. And this is generally as far as most people will go, you know, you get the good effects of both. You get the uplifting giggles of the fucking weed, and you get the warm comfort of the alcohol. But some men just like to watch the world burn. Level 3, the point of no return. This level initiates once you've been crossfaded for a little while. You start to feel comfortable, a little bit too comfortable. And before you know it, you're pissing all over the bathroom floor and speaking Taiwanese. Forget everything I said before about being crossfaded. This is when you are crossfaded. Do you really think that you're a strong individual? A good person with morals? Prepare to get fucking humbled, because at this point, there is no fucking way that you will do anything to resemble a human. This is the point when people start making terrible decisions. <coughs> Yo, what's good? Yo, you see Greg over there? Yeah, he's knocked out. Yeah, I'm gonna piss on his fucking lips. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go over there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, shit. What was I gonna do? Damn, I'm hungry as fuck. My girl. My girl. When we were fucking in the summertime, it wasn't Yo, the freeze. Split. Flash, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> As you can see, getting crossfaded is a dangerous game, but it doesn't have to be that way. With one click of that link in the description, you can join Split's Discord where we will give you tips on getting crossfaded. There's also a 24 7 smoke sesh going on in there at all times. Every fucking day, every day there's people in there getting faded than a fuck, and I want you, yes you, click that fucking link, just do it, what do you get to lose, absolutely nothing, right? Oh, looks like we got a caller, what? What are you talking about, lotion? Ah oh, yes, the channel members, I would like to thank Calamari, Cooper Leach, 50k Dawn, XX Siphon XX, Nemo, and Zaretzel, thank you guys so much, uh, <laughs> Have a good day.